The grandstands is filled with 2,100 people. Your heart is racing, your palms are sweaty, and then there's the moment of silence before you start to play. And that's when you, you realize as a community, you know, hey, we've, we've pulled together and we've made this common effort a reality. It's, it's been three years um, for us to be off campus. Every day is different. We really don't know where we are until, you know, things get sorted out. While we've been off campus and haven't had that home field, it's been hard to bring students in, to bring fans in. You now have to go out of your way to go to a game. And I really think the kids have felt that the support base gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It definitely takes a toll on us but we, we don't well, like to use it as, as an excuse. But the reality is, is that fields, uh, field space, practice time, in really critical times of the year are very difficult uh, to obtain. Right now, with no home field, we're down at, at Delta Park and taking up valuable field hours that, that other high schools and, and other community programs want to use. So right now, we're part of the problem and what we want to be is part of the solution, and that's what this field means to this community. Yeah, we're very deliberate in naming this field the Concordia University and Community Athletic Complex because it really is a partnership between Concordia University and the Northeast Portland community. This is an extraordinary opportunity to have particularly the young people throughout North and Northeast Portland come to this campus and be able to have really an experience of a lifetime on these fields. I think them getting on our campus and becoming aware of what our campus is really about, what it, what it looks like, uh, and get a feel for it, breeds confidence within the community that there is a strong entity in Northeast Portland that is very pro-community, proactive, and wants to see positive things. The history of Concordia being academic and athletic, that those were two important areas, that the neighborhood people will also now come to this new stadium to watch Concordia, support it, and be involved, uh, bring the neighborhood into the campus much more than it ever has been before. You can tell how passionate our athletes are about soccer and about baseball. And once you see that passion, you'll want to donate. This is going to be a really terrific and important addition to the Concordia community. To bring the field back home, would make that even closer. It would bring the exercise and sports science um, degree here a lot of benefit. It would bring the community a lot of benefit. There isn't anything like this in our neighborhood. And again, with Concordia University's commitment to uh, opening the complex to the community, again, not just to our club, but to other, uh, other community uh, needs and uh, activities, I would uh, strongly urge people to support it because it will be a resource for everyone within our community. The impact that that will have on their lives is just, you almost can't measure it. What would it be like for our kids to see the stadium, be in the stadium, participate in the stadium, and, and learn that their fathers contributed to the development and the evolution of this campus? This field is only going to be built once, and this opportunity in Northeast Portland is only going to happen once. And it's an opportunity to influence not only the future of Concordia University, but it's an opportunity for you to influence all of Northeast Portland, to influence families' lives in ways that they've never dreamed of. At the end of the day, we have to bring the teams home. Bring the teams home, let's go. Bring the teams home. Bring the teams home. It's time to bring the teams home. It's time we bring the teams home. 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 Let's bring the teams home. Bring the teams home.